Today on Garden Fork, learn how to build a birdhouse. Stay tuned. Someone's anxious. Start the show. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, we're gonna show you how to build a birdhouse. And it's not the usual kind. You know, this is the birdhouse we've made previously. I call this the Bauhaus birdhouse design. This is for cavity nesters. We're gonna make a birdhouse for what's called ledge nesters. Not all birds like to nest in cavities. In other words, holes in the tree or holes in a wooden box. Some birds like to build their nest on an outcropping. I don't know if you've probably seen your, like a robin has built a nest on top of the light over your door, your front door perhaps, or perhaps near a column or a pillar of your front house, that's a ledge nester. Near the gutter. Or on the gutter, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you today how to build a really simple ledge nest. We have a couple in the yard here, and um, we have birds on them, so it's very cool. Really simple, great for kids, this project. Even I can do this. Are you a kid? And it, it needs, you basically need three pieces of scrap wood to do this. It's really not much of a house either. Right, but if you say bird ledge, people don't know what that means. It's your birdhouse. You know, give me your ball. Come on. Come here. It's like a bird stand. It's a bird stand. Come here. Closer. Right here. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's go. So here's a ledge nest that we put up a couple years ago. We have a number of birds have nested here. This is one from last year. They're not here this year. But you can see it sits underneath this roof eave. Gives it some protection, and it's perfect for them. This is the perfect project for a scrap lumber you have laying around. Uh, if you have one by six pine, it's perfect. This is, I think this is some, some cedary stuff I had. But we're basically gonna make a five inch platform and a five inch side support, and we'll cut it right here. Now we're going to take some other smaller scrap wood for the side supports, okay? What's going on here on the table? Yeah, you can do this at home. You can do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when the camera operator's not home. I <laughs> play with spray paint. Yeah, don't leave them alone. <laughs> One inch drywall screws, cordless drill. Some waterproof wood glue. That's on your finger. Well, the beauty of this kind of glue is it wipes right off. Glue is great. Glue is stronger than nails. Uh, I'm a big advocate of gluing when you're screwing together pieces of wood. So you made the holes first and now you're just putting screws in. Is that what's going on here? Right, we're doing what's called a pilot hole so we don't split this thin wood. Right, you're leaving a little too much to the imagination. Sorry. And then we're putting the screws to fasten it tight and then the glue will dry and adhere the pieces of wood 
and the glue is stronger than the screws, to tell you the truth. Waterproof wood glue. Is that the finished product? Yeah. That is your ledge nest. Somebody's ledge nest. Robins, flickers. Other birds. Other birds. Uh, drill some holes here for your screws to hang it up. Where are you going to hang it? This is really good under an overhang of a roof, of a barn or a shed or something. Um, you want it ideally like 10 feet up or so. You don't want it near too much traffic. It's really good near uh, dust to dawn lights because some of the birds that are ledge nesters like to eat the moths that c hover around dust to dawn lights. It's really cool. Watch them fly off of here and they eat the moth and come back. That's true. Yeah. High enough so your cats can't get it. Yeah, keep your cats indoors, okay? That's basically, if you want if you want songbirds, you want beautiful birds in your yard, uh, keep the cat inside. That's my opinion. All right. He doesn't have a cat. I don't have cats. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button right up there if you like our show. You can get our weekly shows. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash garden fork. We're on Google Plus. We're on Pinterest. Pinterest? Yeah. Neat photo site. And anything else they've invented since this video's come out, we're probably there. Uh, I'd like to hear from you all, Eric at GardenFork.tv. We also have Garden, right to you. Garden Fork Radio is our uh, internet radio show of me and friends talking about cool stuff. All right? All right. Make it a great day. Do this with your kids. It's super simple. Doesn't involve too much power tools, scrap wood. It's very green. Honestly, last time he did this, I was like rolling my eyes and he put it up. And like the next weekend, there were birds on it. He changed the world. There you go. It's true, true story. I'm changing the world one viewer at a time. Starting with my wife. Yeah. And just the camera operator. Alright. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.